Hitman Soups, and welcome back to another Lumion Legacy HTC video. And as you can tell from the title, I will be doing another video on Swirel. Swirel, in all my opinion, is probably the most gimmicky Lumion I've seen so far. Like everything that it has screams gimmick. So it's kind of hard to give my actual thoughts on Swirel because I know its potential is super high, but what it has currently is just pretty hard to decide if it's good or not. So, well, keeping my opinion out until the end, this is how to use Encounter Swirl. From stuff ranging to sets, resistances and weaknesses, from teammates, and of course from counters and checks. So this is the video that you need to know about using Swirl. So in order to know how to use Swirl, we must ask the question, what role does Swirl play? Well thankfully this question is pretty easy to answer when you see what it has. The main thing you want to know about Swirl is that it's very, very frail with 60 melee defense and 60 range defense. These melee defense, This melee defense is lower than Embit's base melee defense so that is one thing to consider. So switching in on a bunch of stuff is probably not your best bet. However it does have 60 melee attack and 60 range attack. Both, melee, both stats hitting less harder than a Dorogo and a Gobbidzemic. Both Lumians that are known that are that are known to not hitting very hard. So of course Swirl is already at a disadvantage, but it kind of does make up for it with its speed and energy. Its energy of 100 is kind of okay because, well, it does get you above 250 in two, level 50 battles, which is the prime speed tier or rather energy tier you want for any Lumen because you can throw out a lot of moves then and speed tier is 100 which in all honesty is pretty great because you are in the same speed tier as Volkaloa, Garbantis, Garlash, Respratu, Nimare and some others while you do get outsped by most of the stuff you do have the potential to outspeed them which is pretty great however this is not the end of Swirl because its ability decides its faith because it has one ability and that ability is appetite this ability, well, it might imply that you need an item to use this ability, you don't. It's basically eating itself. You, you lose a little health each turn to boost two random stats. This, well, as far as I know, I don't think you can boost energy or HP stats. So this is basically a 1 in, a, a one in 2 chance of uh, boosting a attacking stat. So this is pretty great. So. What does what role does Swirl play? Well, thankfully, this is pretty easy to answer now. It's a gimmicky one-note Lumion. Swirl is mostly going to be trying to survive as much turns as it can in the battle, get some boosts up, and start sweeping. While I particularly won't use this in the beginning of the battle, I would use this in the mid to end game battle because, well, that's when stuff are mostly weakened, which does help Swirl out a lot. So it can be your cleaner slash sweeper while it isn't particularly in the realm of that uh, playstyle. It is um, the easiest way to use this thing. So with that out of the way, I'll be talking about Swirl's weaknesses and resistances so you get an idea of what it's weak to. Swirl's typing is pure air and that actually is pretty okay because well, you only have two weaknesses, that being to Ice and Electric. Ice types like Tondulin and Wintrix are very common Ice types which you have to watch out for, but other than that, there's not much Ice types to be worried about. And Electric types like Joltooth, Zulong, Elephage, and Eleguana, just to name some, are some stuff that you do not want to switch in. Even though you do have some coverage for Electric types, they're generally not the best to switch in on still or stay in because you do not hit that hard. And just to be clear, Swirl has a lot more weaknesses and besides Ice and Electric. Because of Swirl's low defenses, you are going to be taking a bunch of hits um, and taking a lot of damage. So Swirl obviously shouldn't be switching in on a battle. It should be either coming in after a Lumion's dead or it should be um, leading the battle or getting pivoted in. Some resistances, which is pretty much two, it's to bug and, bug and brawler. Brawler types like Kanibo, which in all honesty you should not switch in because you still get one hit KO'd. 
um, your soul is another one but then again it hits you pretty hard so you should shouldn't try switching in on that and bug types like harvest is like the only one you should be worried about and other than that there's not much bug types in the metagame so try switching in on a harvest act well I wouldn't particularly recommend it it is something to take into consider and one thing I forgot to mention here um, it does have a the immunity to earth so you can try and switching on earth moves coming from a Ferroglyph, Tyrex, Sedi Mars and Borok but just do note that they hit you really hard with all of its other moves so with that out of the way I'll be talking swirl sets so you know how to use this thing so Swirl's set is pretty simple, it's the range defense set that I made. You can obviously use other sets like some sets that are mostly focused into speed and outspeeding some other stuff but in my opinion that's just not worth it. The ability of choice is appetite so you can try, no, well it's basically your only ability so yeah have fun. The moves of choice is going to be perch and jet stream, these are your most essential moves because Perch does give you a bunch of recovery back and Jetstream obviously it's your hardest hitting move and it's stabs so you have to carry that. Mud Sputter slash Provoke is going to be your next option. If you do not want to run um, Provoke which is perfectly fine you can run Mud Spatter for um, metal types but Provoke in my eyes just seems a little bit better so you can stop so stuff from setting up on you. Dodge and Scapegoat is pretty much your last fourth move slot. I wouldn't run try, tr I wouldn't try running scapegoat because your health is already, well it is pretty high but your defenses are pretty low so you have to consider that and dodge overall is just a safer play. The personality of choice will be robust, clever, very frail. This is so you can maximize your defenses so you have can take a lot of hits and the item of choice will be health amulet or milkshake. I would recommend health amulet always but if you do want to want to run something with health amulet, milkshake is something that you can consider. However, the TPs is 200 HP. This is to maximize your bulk and, or rather, maximize your HP. And fun fact, you do have an odd, odd HP stat at level 50 with your max HP, so you don't have to be worried about ice traps. Aura energy is leftovers basically, and 48 speed is to outspeed a 200 speed non-nimble Kanibo so yeah you can also try um, um, substituting some range defense into speed to outspeed stuff like um, Boots Deladrix which is a good thing to outspeed at plus one so you can try some other stuff you can experiment with the speeds that I do just run maximizing bulk and 200 range defense is pretty much pretty explanatory because you do not have the best matchup against melee attackers so maximizing your range defense is pretty great. You can also take 3 hits from to clips with this range defense so that's okay. And 48 melee defense is pretty much leftovers. So yeah, with that out of the way I'll be talking about what Swirl cannot do against some other Lumens and some Lumens that can pair well with Swirl. So let's get along with that. So, Swirl's best counter is of course Wobblisk. Wobblisk being immune to Swirl's ability, so it's going to be doing the same damage to Wobblisk over and over and over, and Wobblisk can just set up driving force, set up barbs, what have you, so that is one thing. However, other than Wobblisk, there are 8 possible options you can choose to check Swirl or counter Swirl. So yeah, that is amazing. From stuff ranging from Seer Knight to Bar Blast, from Stratosaur to Tundralin, almost all of these guys have very comfortable matchups against Swirl. Seer Knight ha gets 3 hit KO'd if you're running the Brawny Clever set, which is probably the best set in my opinion. So you can threaten at Swirl with that. While I wouldn't particularly keep switching in on that, you can try doing that as well. Stratosaur, Tundralin, Sedi Mars, and Maumurk, you flat out wall. So you should try using one of those options as well against Swirl, so that's cool too. And if you do want stuff that are as in as bulky but do hit pretty hard, Bar Blast is a 4 hit KO with a Mud Spatter and Tyrex is also a 4 hit KO with a Mud Spatter. So Tyrex is pretty great, Bar Blast is pretty great for Swirl also. 
And plus, Luminami is also a great option. While I wouldn't particularly run this over any of the other walls I mentioned, Luminami is good as well because it can pivot out, do some damage with Chili Chomp, or I'm pretty sure it has Frost Beam now, so that is a thing. So yeah, Luminami is pretty great, and all of these defensive answers for Swirl is pretty great as well. So yeah, you can do that. And the offensive checks to Swirl is occupied by a lot. Mocho. Namare, Zulong, Wintrix, Joltooth, Metatode, and Valkyrie to name a few. Mocho is mainly there because it provides very good offensive capabilities with its coverage and of course being an ice type it can switch in on Swirl whenever it wants and of course it takes a bunch of hits from Swirl so that's great. Metatode while being weak to Mud Spatter is a 3 hit KO I'm pretty sure or a 4 hit KO as well as Zulong being weak to Mud Spatter but again being a 3 hit KO if it's a foolish Zulong if it's not a foolish that means well it's it's a 31% chance to 3 hit KO I'm pretty sure Joltooth is a 4 hit KO Valkyrie is a 3 hit KO if you're running offensive and if you're running defensive or a rather bulky Valkyrie then it hit tanks a lot harder Wintrix is one of the better options because it's immune to Mud Spatter and 4 times resists Jetstream, so it's a 4 hit KO for Wintrix. And Namare, just like Wintrix, resists, resists Jetstream and is immune to Mud Spatter. So, yeah, there are a bunch of Lumens for Swirl, and so you don't have to really worry about Swirl sweeping your team or something like that. You just have to kill Swirl from the start or mid game. Do not let Swirl live until the end game. But if you do let Swirl live in the endgame, well you have to have something very healthy for that. So with that out of the way, I'll be talking about its teammates, which helps it out against the offensive checks. Some offensive teammates to Swirl is obviously Cosmere Unleashed. With Cosmere Unleashed, you can run Hypnotize on this, and once Swirl dies, you are going to get its ability. So, Hypnotize the Lumion in front of you, so they're asleep for at the minimum of 3 turns. Set up bulk ups, so you at the very least you can get three bulk ups, and thanks to your uh, your ability, you can get you can potentially get a lot more bulk, a lot more speed, or a lot more attack. So that is a thing to consider. And also, you have the option of running Kanibo, which is great for metal types like Stratosaur, Tyrex, and um, well, Stratosaur, Tyrex. It does kind of break through Luminami with Raging Tackle, so that is a thing to consider. Also, it does help against stuff like Mao Merc, some other stuff. But you do not really have to run um, Kanibo for this because your other defensive teammates can do it. Kanibo is mostly there for the um, Cosmere being walled by Metal types, so that's pretty great as well. Also, you getting walled by Metal types is alright as well. Kanibo is a pretty good teammate for that. You can run um, Metatode for this as well, which I'm probably forgetting. But yeah, other than that, you can run a bunch of teammates that normally would do really well against Metal types, which is pretty great for Sorel. So, out of that, let's talk about the defensive teammates. Defensive teammates like Stratosaur, Tyrex, and Cetamars are pretty great because Cetamars and Tyrex are pretty great because they provide a lot of offensive utility, or rather, offensive damage output. For the offensive checks, for example, City Mars can deal with Metatode pretty well, as well as Tyrex it can. Um, it do, um, Thunder Chomp, City Mars does really well against stuff like um, Nemare, Valkyrie, and I'm prob and Metatode as well. Tyrex does pretty well against some against like a di in raw damage output and basically walling Zulong and Metatode. So that's great. And Stratosaur is mainly there for like um for for the bulk because while these guys can do pretty well against the offensive checks to Swirl, they're not the best for 1v1ing them. Stratosaur is pretty great because it can take a lot of hits pretty well. It can threaten them out with its own magnify and hit pretty hard with that. Also, it's one of the better counters or checks to win tricks which is of course pretty important so with that out of the way i'll be talking about my closing statements in the conclusion so swirl in all honesty um i have a very negative opinion about it 
Swirl, in my opinion, should not be used on any competitive team. Swirl is one of the most gimmicky Lumians, and in my opinion, the most gimmicky Lumian that you should never use if you want to try winning in some battles. Swirl is just too inconsistent for, you know, to do a lot of damage. If it was anything but a pure air type and maybe it had some good offensive coverage, then maybe, and just maybe, it would be a lot more stronger. But I couldn't give it a sense where Jamie Jamie didn't want to make things too broken, so he gave it one of the weaker um, offensive typings. And yeah, that's my thoughts on Sorel. Um, if you liked the video and found it informational, then go do that as well. I would appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to see more quality content like this. I do definitely do other videos like how to use encounters. Um, Pyrolin and Sinogre, so if you're interested in that, then go check them out. They're pretty cool videos in my opinion. And yeah, like the video, uh, like I said, subscribe if you're into that. And there is a Discord server that I do have. I do daily Q, um, QOTDs, and I'm planning to use that Discord server for my 100 sub special. So yeah, let's do that. And just remember, Zulong is still a dumpster fire. Have a great day.